Hey guys, welcome back. So last time we were able to fetch a list of campaigns from our backend and we can display them here on our front end. And we used a method called get static props. So like we said, the reason why we used get static props is we would want this to be called at build time such that we can fetch all the data for this page at build time. Now, when we go to the detail page, we would want to do the same thing. So we would want this page to be fetched at build time and uh, the HTML pre-rendered already with the data. So normally with this kind of detail routing on the web, we would have to, let's say, come on this page when this page has rendered, pick the slug and then make a call to get the data. But with the kind of approach we want, where we want all the data to be fetched at build time, that approach will not work because there won't be any user to click any buttons. Now, Next.js supports us at being able to achieve pre-rendering of all the detailed pages for all our items on this list by giving us an implementation for a method called get static paths. So what get static path does is it goes ahead and makes a call to our server and then returns all the slugs that are on the server. And then Next.js can use each of those slugs to generate the individual pages for that campaign. So to implement this, we're going to go to the slug. Now, first, we're going to first implement the get static path function. And that should be the one that returns for us all the slugs on our server that we would want to fetch data for and pre-render. So here, we need to export. It has to be an async function. So export async function. It's, you have to call it get static path like this. So inside this function, we're going to go ahead and make the same call we did here. So we're going to make this call here to fetch the data. So what I'm going to do is to actually copy this and uh, bring it to here because it's going to be the same call. But the difference is now we want to only get the slugs. We don't care about the images, everything, because this function should return the slugs, which will be a substitute for the page itself. So here we're going to fetch. Now, when we fetch, we get the data. So I'm going to do a const and also get static paths runs on the server. So here I'm going to console log this and uh, I'm going to console log the data. So this is going to give us a list like this. So this, it's going to be an array with each of these objects. But what we want is to only get the array of slugs. So the way we can do that is here, since this is going to be containing all of these. We are just going to strip out everything we don't need and only use the slug. So we can use a map function for that to manipulate the contents of a, an array. So here let's have const all slugs. So this is going to be the data. Then we're going to call map. So map gives us each item in a callback function. And we can now just return the slug. So for each of the items, we are only going to pick the, the slug. And uh, map gives us the array of all the objects that gets enumerated from this map function. This should be able to give us the slugs. So something like slug A, slug B, slug C. So now the return from the get static path should follow a format that has a params key and then the slug itself. So something like this. So we should be able to, in get static path, we should be able to return an array and that array should contain objects like this. And each of those objects should have a key called params. And that's going to be an object also, and then in the object there can be the slugs. So something like this. So slug is going to be a slug. Now, since we already have the slugs, what we can do is we can st still map over these, and inside each of these, we embed there the key for params and set the value to the slug itself. So here we can just have return. We're just going to do all slugs. Then we want to map. So this is now going to give us each slug. So what we want to return params, params. And the value is going to be the slug like this. OK, so this is going to give us now our paths. So what we need to return from the function will be the paths. So we're going to say const these paths. So will be the paths. So here we can return an object that has path in them. And we can specify another property here called fallback. So I'm going to say fallback equals false. So right here, we could be able to supply false, true, and broken. And the difference between these options here are that whenever you supply false, Next.js is only going to update the data when you rebuild again. But we could be able to supply, but we could be able to supply true or blocking, and that would enable Next.js to create fallback pages for when a user tries to access a campaign that was not generated at build time. And also, there is a feature called incremental static site generation. 
but we won't be getting much into that. So for now, we will only expect Next.js to work with the data that it builds at build time and not having to expect it to, to prefetch other pages that don't exist. So let's skip this. Now, whenever we implement get static path, that means that Next.js is going to know about all our slugs. And uh, right now, what we need to do is we need to fetch data for each of those parts. Last time we saw that if we want to fetch data at build time, we can implement get static props. And this is what we want to implement now. So I'm going to copy get static props. And down here, we will have get static props. And basically, what happens is whenever we are on a dynamic route or a dynamic page like this, Next.js is going to check if we have get static paths. Now, when we have get static path, this function is going to be called for each of those paths and the data is going to be fetched for each of them. And whenever we have get static path, each of those paths is available in the get static props function and it's available as a prop so we can get it here. So the path is, is passed in here as params. Now with this, we can be able to access each individual slug. So you can see here we, are, we can be able to do params.slug and it's going to be called for each of the items that are returned in the path. So here we can now do a call to our backend to this endpoint here for the detail and get this data and, and get static props will pass it to our page and the page can get it as props. So let's go ahead and make a call. So I'm going to come here and make a call like this. So this time we are going to be fetching the detail. So we're going to be using here params dot slug since our path has the params key and then the slug inside so it's going to be accessed like this and this is going to go ahead and make the the http call so we expect to get the data here so you can say const data equals this now we can return props like we said in get static props we need to return props like this so we can return props and for now we are just going to send the data to our page so now if we go to our page here, we can expect to get that data. And down here, if we console log the data, we should be able to get it. So if we go to our website and refresh and open up the Chrome console, I'm actually going to minimize this and go to the console. So if we refresh, you can start to get the data being logged inside here, meaning that we are able to fetch the data using these functions here. If we open up our Chrome console, and click on one of these. So notice when I click on one of these, we didn't go ahead to make a call to the server. We didn't. So if you take a look here, you can see all the requests go to port 3000. So the data is gotten and then it's cached inside the underscore next underscore data. But this is in development, but this kind of shows you that the data is going to be prefetched and we're not going to be making like calls to the server when we use this approach. So now that we have the data, we can go ahead and display it in the UI. So for now, we will show the image. So I'm going to go here. So I'm just going to copy our item. So I'm going to copy the whole div and bring it in here. So we'll go here. We have campaign. We are going to remove this, expand this. So we'll have the container. Then we will have the, the description and the title. So let's remove one of these divs and save. So now the data is the object. So here where we were using element, we're going to change that to use data. And uh, of course, we don't want to route here, so we can remove that on click. We need to import styles. So for now, I'm going to use the styles that we were using for the for the home. And then in the next one, we are going to be styling the next page. We are going to be styling the detail page better. So now if you come back to the site, I'm going to refresh it. We need to import image from image link. So let's copy this. Make sure we are importing image, image, image. So now, let's also import link. We might have to use it to go back. So let's get it down here. Save. Come back. Date format. Let's import date format also. Since we are formatting the data and the detail. Let's come back here. And you can see that our data is being displayed. So this is how we set up the ability to fetch data for dynamic routes using get static path and also get static props. So that's going to do it for this one. If it helps you out, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video.